And city leaders say even though it may not seem like too much, the timing, as Mr. G said, absolutely awful, affecting both commutes with snow early and then ice and rain late, perhaps the ice even being a bigger deal. They'll start spreading, pre-treating the roads at around 2 a.m. when the first flurries come if the forecast holds. The heaviest snow expected to fall right when people are trying to get their kids to school and themselves to work. But so far, city schools are scheduled to remain open, although Mayor de Blasio did put everyone on standby, saying that would be reevaluated evaluated overnight. People with flexible schedules are being urged to delay their commutes until mid morning and anyone who can take mass transit is being urged to do so as well. City leaders still being over prepared again in the wake of that November small storm that hit a lot harder than we anticipated. I asked the emergency management commissioner specifically about that and how it impacts today's efforts. We're prepared for the worst right now. Uh, if, if we get a foot of snow, I'm sure sanitation can handle it. The other agencies, we have pre-deployed equipment at the, the crossings. Uh, Port Authority, MTA, DOT, they have equipment pre-deployed. They'll be sanding on the overnight tonight, as will uh, sanitation. Uh, we've spoken to Port Authority about the airports, the approaches to the airports, the MTA about their buses and their trains. So we're prepared for, we're prepared for the worst. Let's do a quick run through of the numbers to show you exactly how seriously the city is taking this. We're talking about 695 salt spreaders, 1,000 plows at the ready if necessary, and 2,400 workers, all of which will be moving to 12-hour shift rotations until the worst of it has passed.